Jesus Christ carried the cross to Calvary, but with the help of a certain man. Who is the man that carried the cross that Jesus was meant to carry, helping him to get to Golgotha, the greatest altar of God for sacrifice? Prophetically, as you understand the nitty gritty of what had happened, you will begin to understand what God is doing in the now. The certain man that the world is talking about is named to be Simon. And he say, this Simon was from a place known as Cyrene. The version we read, the New King James Version say, Simon, a Syrian. He was a Syrian because he was an African man. There have been many people used by God. I am not here saying that this is the only man used by God. I am not here presenting you this as the only thing you should bow to. No, don't bow to him. Understand that this is just a prophetic symbol. I am speaking as a teacher who's teaching in the prophetic, leading you to a place of power and glory. For this is my God-given assignment Jesus, to my generation. I receive it. God had designed that as Jesus Christ will go to the cross to pay the price, that Africa may help him. Hey! I received this word. Africa has always been the continent that God had relied on for great happenings. If you are not an African, do not look at this as something that is subtracting you from the plan of God. No. You must, uh, in contrary, see this as uh, a value-adding uh, knowledge. Do you know that uh, the nation of God was groomed in Africa? Right. Oh, the Jews and the Israel that you know could have not been because when they came, they came as a family. When they left, they left as a great nation. Uh-huh. Africa! Mother Africa, the incubator, Mother Africa, the strategy of God, Mother Africa, the last move of God. I receive. Jesus is born. It was a revelation and the Bible speaks of the Magis that came from the East. They came to worship him and those who study the word of God carefully will agree that uh, those people were not magicians. They were people who studied and they had great uh, literatures that had been passed to generation after generation from the time of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, those intelligent who wrote because they were 10 times wiser. They wrote and spoke prophetically. Those of you who understand the word of God understand that the book of Daniel is a prophetic book that uh, deals with eschatology. Daniel could speak things today that will manifest tomorrow. And he wrote things about the Messiah to come. The Magis came from there. Jesus. From the Persian kingdom. They understood that the king is born. And as they came, they went to see the king of the land by protocol. He wrote and said that there is a king. We have seen his sign. And that this king panicked and said, no, there cannot be a king. Whose birth will attract so many other kings with gift to him. He saw a threat. He felt that I will not remain because of the one who was born. So he said to them, go and worship him. And once you have done, please come. Report to me that I may also go and worship. He didn't say that because he wanted to worship. Please understand. Those are people who came, came from the Persian area. They came from what is known now as Iran and so forth. You see, the Bible has a place for all of us. Yes. In the Bible, we all 
can play a role. So he said to them, go and worship him. And thereafter, please come report to me so I may also go. No, his heart was wicked. His plan was, I will kill the child because the child manifests as a king. The devil is after your future. That's he right. wants to destroy you now so that you may not manifest tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to say, God be for you. Who, Who can, can be, be against, against you? me? Jesus. So the Maggies went and worshipped uh, baby Jesus Christ. And uh, as they were getting ready to go back to the king, the Lord warned them and told them not to do so. They went back the way that night, saving the child. Mm. The king began to understand that these guys played me. And he decided to kill every baby in the land just to get to one baby. You see how far the devil can go? To kill everybody just to get to one baby. That's right. Oh, hey, yeah. God protects. God could uh, put an edge of fire. And as other babies died, this one, Jesus Christ, because he was in the plan of God, could have survived, but no. God say, I know a place. Take him to Africa. My Jesus. For the Savior to be the Savior. For him to have an opportunity to come and perform the miracles that you have seen him perform. Quickly, take him to Africa. Jesus Christ was taken as a baby to Africa where he was nurtured to maturity. Some people wonder after 12 years old, where was he? In Africa. Just as Moses was trained in Africa, Jesus was trained in Africa. Oh, yes. May I please tell you, My Africa God. for you is in the plan of God. Africa is never a mistake. Africa will My understand God. that this is the will of God. You will be where God wants you to be for what God wants you to do. Jesus, I was saying. Could you imagine, can you imagine what could happen to Jesus Christ if he was not taken to Africa? Hmm. Well, the Bible speaks to us of the words of Jesus Christ, not on audio. So we do not know his accent. But I tell you, he spoke with an African accent. <laughs> 30 years in the land is too long. Oh, my father, <laughs> don't be jealous now. When we speak of the epistle mm -hmm. of Paul to the Romans, we are cool with it. Right. Rome is New Europe. When we speak of Syria, Lebanon, we are cool with it. We should be cooler when we speak about Africa in God. Oh, yes. I reveal to you the prophetic word of God for this moment that you may understand what God is doing and how to move. Jesus Christ who was sent by God to Africa to preserve himself and when he was ready just as God did with Moses Jesus Christ began his ministry and carry on one sentence to death and he had to carry his cross the Bible say it was too heavy he was already weakened physically God called an African and say go because you see Africa is not just one continent as played out there. Africa is a God a strategic continent for spiritual happenings. Thank you, Jesus. 
Africa has always been in the plan of God. And the reason why the Lord had instructed me to share this word is because we will begin to see the contribution spiritually of Africa in the kingdom of God as we have not seen before. I am announcing this to you as one who hears God. I am a man filled with wine oh, whose eyes are open. My I God. speak in the name of Jesus. The Ethiopian eunuch who went to Jerusalem was drawn from Ethiopia on a chariot. Something was in him. Something was drawing him to go and worship though he did not understand. And for that African, God caused a miracle that was unusual. Philip was quickly sent to meet this man because after Jesus Christ, they had to be born again that I will go back. So he had to go through the water of baptism showing that he died in Christ and now he is alive to Christ. A miracle took place through Philip. Philip disappeared from where he was to appear where the African guy was. I am an African. Oh, I receive it. Why will God facilitate such a huge miracle? if it was not so important it was important because the african the men that came from ethiopia had to go back and preserve the power the fire the plan of god many continents will be blessed and africa will just be one continent that will add even more Every currently africa has over 1.4 billion people just like india and china as we speak india has the largest population but it is said that just 16 years from when i'm speaking Africa's population will bypass 2 billion, reaching to close to 2.1 billion. And by 2050, Africa, 26 years from now, most of you will still be alive, especially those who are younger. <laughs> Africa will have 2.5 billion people covering 25% of the population of the earth. Jesus. Just in 26 years, right now, Africa represents about 17.8% of the population of the earth. And in 26 years, Africa will represent 25% of the population of the earth. Africa is a continent with the largest natural resources in the world 40 percent of gold comes from africa oh, yes yes 90 percent of chromium and platinum 90 percent comes from africa that's right wealth has not seen is in africa wealth of yesterday Wealth of today and wealth of tomorrow. When we speak of petroleum, gas, fuel, whatever you can say, Africa is blessed with it. Renewable yes. energy, Africa is blessed with it. Mm. In 2019, just the Democratic Republic of Congo produce the 65% of the cobalt production of the world. 65, one African country. My goodness. South Africa, the land where we are, has it all. 
We have platinum. We have diamond. We have gold. And the beautiful part is that uh, the African continent has the youngest population ever. Do you know that 40% of the population of Africa average between 15 years old to 18 years old? I have been in a continent where everybody is above 60. I am just praying for longevity. The name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, just as we can go through the word of God, if I had time, I will take you deeper, step by step, to understand what God is doing. Because as you are connected here, you must understand the meaning and the significance of it. God has preserved Africa for times such as this. Africa is a continent that a man and woman from different region and continent with the evil doings system came to explore. The poverty that we see in Africa is made by men through corruption and manipulation. Oh, Selfishness yes. of men has led to what Africa experienced today. Right. Africa is not a poor continent. Africa is not a place of mediocrity. Africa is not a place of people dying. Africa is the best place that God assigned so that his kingdom may be sustained. Jesus. I speak to everyone listening to me. Those of you in America, those of you in Asia, those of you in Australia, those wherever you may be, come to Africa when you can still come. Come and invest in Africa. Come and position yourself in Africa. Align yourself in Africa. Right. 40% of the arable land in the world are found in Africa. Fresh water, forest, without Africa, the world will lose balance forever. Jesus. You will not be able to speak technology without Africa. Mm. You will not use a cell phone without Africa. When we speak of artificial intelligence, thank God for Africa. Mm. Mm. And if Africa yesterday was seated in the dark, Africa is no longer seated in the dark. Jesus. Hallelujah. What the fathers and the forefathers of African had gone through, this generation will never go through. I again. receive it in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, physically, economically, and otherwise. Mm. That's why every other continent that has a bit of wisdom to understand must begin to change the partnership, the relationship with Africa, or else you will go hungry. Spiritually, Jesus. there has been a time God used those in Israel after the coming of the Holy Ghost. Miracles took place through them in a way not seen. But the Bible say they came persecution and they were scattered. They were scattered in the region. And as that move was scattered it went and god gave it a platform in europe christianity did not come from europe right christianity is not a white man religion mm. 
Constantine, the emperor, in his time, accommodated, recognized it, giving it a platform officially to operate in Europe. Europe was used by God at that time to send missionaries, to spread the gospel. They went all out, pushing the cause of Christ. And as God moves, and as the plans of God, and as the power of God moves, this went and reached every other part of the world. America caught the fire. Everyone used by God wanted to be in America because God began to do something special in America. They came from Australia to America. They came from India. They came from Europe. Everyone was in America when we speak about the Catherine Kuhlman, the Maria Arthur, when we speak about uh, Smith, uh, Wigglesworth. It did not stay in Europe. It had to go to America. The child of Finis had to be in America. The Azusa revival took place and fire came from America, reaching the globe. Those days, Men like T.L. Osborne mm -hmm. came from America to go and reach out to India, sharing the good news with the power of God. Billy Graham, after being refused to enter India countless times, he did not give up. And finally, he entered into India and preached the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. America then was used by God as an instrument to spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank God for America. God used men and women in a way shocking, miracles and so forth. But as I speak now, What moved from the Middle East to Europe to America is now bubbling in Africa. Hallelujah. Africa need to send missionaries to the Middle East. Africa need to send missionaries to Europe. Africa need to send missionaries to America. Yes. Teaching faith, teaching the power of God, teaching the death of revelation of the glory of God. Do you understand this? Yes. Let me tell you. In the plan of God, just as he wanted it to be before, the Lord wants to do something through Africans. Mm. When you begin to look around, you start seeing what God is doing. See, if you are trained to believe God for bread, or else that day you go hungry, mm. your faith is uh, like the one of the young men known as uh, David behind the flocks of his father. Mm. Mm. The day you stand against Goliath, that faith that was uh, formed, mm. In a little thing, so will it be what will it terrify the enemy? That's right. We have faith. We do have. We know how to believe God for healing. We know how to get rid of a virus from your system just in calling God. Mm, mm. We did not have all the facilities and medical help, medical heads. No, I have seen lumps disappear. Yes. Because you see, nobody has access to any medical facility to get that gone. And we come to God. Oh, yes. We come on the altar with a lamp. And in Africa, as God has been training us, Zianda. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Go and 
the lamp disappears. Glory to Jesus. The Lord mm. planned that. And even now, as the Lord spoke to me, he will begin to do things that the world has not seen. I believe and I will save. If you do not know how to fight a true wizard that speaks no English, only the mother tongue in the hardest way, What the world calls wizard and witches, uh, it's a movie. Mm -hmm. Come to Africa. God had allowed us to go through it. We fight. We fight. We don't fight wizard on the ties. Wizard who knows how to speak and write. My God. We fight wizard that will cause rain just in your house. It's raining just in your house. My God. So you see, when, when we come again, we, we come to God and tell Jesus. We, we don't do the Jesus. Uh, no, we, 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 we. Yes. 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 This is why. Mention my name to any wizard you know. Mention it. Try it. We have been trained differently. Oh, yes. Mention my name. I have been through down. I know the basement. I know the ground floor. I know the first floor. I know how to labor in the presence of God. Jesus. Now, every revival brings bizarre things right. every revival africa will display the glory of god in this way in this time as not seen before because just as simon was part and parcel of what produced redemption to mankind god in this last hour is using men and women from this very continent that I will shock the world. This is not just for window watch, no. Mm -hmm. This is because God wants to save. God wants to rescue. Jesus. But it will happen in the way that many people will be so shocked. That some will say, no, this cannot be God. Be. How can this be so? The very same thing that they thought, they will see it manifest in the way. That they will begin to think, can this be? Can a man see in the spirit just like that? How does it happen? If you were blessed by this video, please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI-TV or on our live stream on AMITV.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at Elflukawa.